to the Arcade Saga. My name is Joachim Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, today another Blooms Buds and Such, which is basically an update of different things going on in my greenhouse and in my arcade room. So yeah, first of all, look at these guys. I just I needed to film these because they are so beautiful, fairly large. Absolutely stunning. This is a rebloom. I had it in bloom last year when I bought it. It came with a cane that uh, also started to bloom. I think with one or two blooms. But these are way better because it uh, didn't go through the process of uh, repotting. So it has all the energy uh, to put in these blooms. And yeah, one is a little bit uh, off. Well, a little bit, quite a bit off. A little bit strange. This opened uh, as the last uh, one as well. Where it is the first one on a spike. It's a bit different. Nonetheless, these are beautiful. Maybe you recognize it already, but this is, it has a beautiful name, I think. This is the Rinko Brasolea Everything Nice Showtime. And this is absolutely showtime. Stunning, absolutely stunning blooms. So uh, let's put the tag back. And here's also a new growth. So it's doing well, luckily. Beautiful, strong root over here. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. Showtime. That is this one. So yes, an update. I also have an update on new orchids. And I could just couldn't resist. It's all Inces fault because he came home. He did an uh, unwrapping video not that long ago with a black family opsis. And here she is, well, black is uh, almost black. This is a very dark red. And when I saw it, I thought, oh yes, I would like one of those in my collection. I think it's stunning. Such beautiful colors. And a very uh, typical shape of, uh, uh, shape of blooms, actually. Not, not very regular, as we expect uh, from Fels, maybe, but very nice, and I think I did it, see it somewhere for sale with a name, but I don't find I did find it yet, so I don't have a name. Maybe you recognize it, and otherwise I will uh, do an update on it in a later video. I bought this even though these buds were already going over. I did buy this one, and I do that. I first look at the roots. Well, there were about six left. They all had a similar root system. And then I'm going to look at the amount of leaves. And this one has the most leaves. And most of the times those are the stronger fails, or, uh, yeah, in this case. So that's why I bought this one. And we had a few nice blooms to look at, but those will uh, be back one day. And just for a comparison, this is the darkest one that I have. And whoops, I'm sorry for the shakiness. Here we go. You can see how much darker that new one is. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, in there, your fault. And while I was, th was there, I did show he did showcase this one as well. I bought two more plants. Also a fell. It was a bit pricey, but I did bought it because it's so beautiful. A big lip, family opsis, and it's yeah, like I said, beautiful. I couldn't resist. Same story, I had a look at the roots and the leaves and the size of the leaves, and I thought this one was the biggest and the strongest one. Even though these spikes look fine and the buds, but otherwise I would still buy it because this, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm interested most in the strongness of the plant. I can rebloom it so the blooms will be back, but this is uh, nonetheless beautiful. And then they had a bunch of Miltonias and there was something about it. It's such a beautiful purple color and I think this is a cross with the Ragnellii. According to lip, I don't have a name for it. I couldn't find it yet. So maybe you recognize these guys. Please let me know. I'm always interested in the right names. And I did look at the most amount of bulbs and the ones that weren't uh, swiveled too much. There were some that were did, did look uh, very thirsty. And yeah, this one had amount of the most amount of new growths. Good roots, we even have some growing tips there. I hope you can see it, just above my nail there. And I have it in a tray with water. It's not in contact with the water, but these have a tendency to have the bush nails. And I don't like those, of course, so 
just to keep them in the pot until I can repot it, if they are there, I'm not completely sure. I have it sitting like this. So that is also a new one. So yeah, <laughs> it wasn't, I wasn't planning on it, but three new plants. And this is the reason why. Such a beautiful one. So that is another update. Then while we're over here, I have a little update here going on. It's just opening up, but there it is again. My beautiful yellow Vanda, let's zoom in. Those blooms will be uh, larger. Like I said, it's just opening up, but it started to bloom again. Also very, very pretty, very pretty. And then let's go over here. Because a little bit update, I did uh, not that long ago a video about Miltonias and Miltoniopsis. And look at this, it's starting to open up quite some blooms. This is a Ragnelii, you can see that it's, it's, there's a resemblance of the lip of the previous one, the purple one. And I know the um, Ragnelii has also a similar lip. And the, this is a cross, it's also a purple one, but you can see the lip is different. Just opened up as well. And the extra Ragnelii. <laughs> It's starting to bloom as well. Look at these beauties. Aren't these stunning? And there are quite some more to come. I apologize for the background noise, it's my fan, but I don't... Uh, it's too warm to put it off, so I hope it's not too bad. But yeah, these look so amazing. So those are the... and then we have one over here, actually. Beautiful. And then this Buntii, if I pronounce it right, did start to bloom as well. And this big one over here is also starting to bloom. Probably a summer breeze, something like that. Not only a summer breeze, I'm not completely sure, but it does look very similar to that one. Another bloom over here. And there in the back we have a few more and we have quite some spikes here and that one is also spiking very beautifully we have a lot of spikes this is the purple one the a stack probably we have some spikes going on there so yes beautiful this is a very nice corner at the moment with all those flowers it's so beautiful stunning 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 and yeah, not much new opened over here. We have some more blooms. I did an update uh, on my Dendroma family opposite as well. So I will uh, link that if you are interested in seeing that. Let's get over here. But I also did an update. I had my Bobophyllum family opposite over here. And it does do well. It grows new roots. But it doesn't make a new growth. So today, just before filming, I did uh, burn some holes in that pot and now I have it hanging, as you can see, on the ceiling. So maybe it just needs a little bit more light. But we have the roots. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me check. Yeah, we have that. You can see the roots are growing well. Beautiful. So it's, But it looks on top of the pot like it's doing nothing for, for about a year now, I think. So I hope that this is a trick, because I see them with other growers hanging uh, a lot on the rooftop. Probably because of the light, I'm not completely sure. And it looks pretty, it looks very pretty if you ask me. Nice cluster of plants over there. So I just, uh, like I said, recently, uh, today actually, did hang it over here. Who knows, I hope that's the trick, just a little bit more light. Even though I had some purple edging over here so you should think <laughs> that it did get enough light but I'm not completely sure I do know it's an incredibly slow grower but more than a year is very slow I'm not completely sure if that is what it should do <laughs> but who knows who knows then let's uh, get inside of the orchid room because I have a little bit of updates there as well yeah always the peeping noise of the door um, it's not completely open yet, but this is also very interesting over here. Look at this. This is a first time bloomer. You can see a sneak peek of the colors. It's a cross with crispum, which is more of a white variety if I... Uh... It's not a cross, it's a crispum variety. I'm sorry. 
kind of nice. I'm not completely sure. Maybe it's a different seedling. I, I, uh, but I expected a more creamy color. Nonetheless, it looks very promising. So this will be in an update soon as well. Blooming update. Nearly a little red velvet, we just saw in my blooming update, but now the orange one is also blooming. Oops, oh, look at these guys. I think the light, let me check if I can block the light a little bit. But yeah, this is the orange one. And we have another spike there in the back on that one. So that is going well. And this Nelly Eilish also, oh, Lexley. Look, we have a bloom open. I didn't see that yet. This is the Swiss Beauty. So I have now all three varieties in bloom. There it is. Yeah, I didn't see that yet. So those are the three oldest ones that I have. And I have a yellow one that is making a new growth. I think this is the third attempt to make a new growth, but this is the strongest. So I think it will be fine. And the two newest ones are over here. I did repot them already. And these are making roots. At least this one and this one is making new growths. These should be fine. It's the more brungy red one and the yellowy red. Very, very beautiful, a little bit strange color uh, for colors for a Nelly Island. And that is, I think, is most of, of it here. I did see some. But some uh, jewel orchids. I think that's a but. I'm not completely sure. Actually, that is going on over here. And we are back in the greenhouse. This is the last of the updates. My uh, Cattleya forbesii is blooming again. Here it is, Cattleya forbesii. Just opened up. I think it was yesterday. And now they are fully open. And they will probably start a little bit getting a little bit more yellow. This one really enjoys it here. It's doing so well. It was such a small plant. And you can see the newest canes is way bigger than the rest. And it has a fairly uh, heavy blooms on there. But yeah, for Bessii. Absolutely beautiful. And new growth there that may bloom as well. Who knows? Let's try to put it back. Yeah, I really love that lip. Let me see. Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. Camera has, yeah, there we go. I think it's a little bit better, but yeah, absolutely stunning as well. So beautiful. So, yes, you guys, I think that is it for the updates for now. Maybe you see something and you would like an update. I did get a request, speaking of uh, updates, on my Cadleas from uh, Vanda Sean, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Uh, oh, Venda. No, not Venda, of course. Whoops, I'm a, whoops, there was a spike in my neck. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it was uh, Vanda, one of the shot. And I will do that. I'm not completely sure why. I just need a little bit more time than I had this week for filming. Uh, I also have a repotting video coming up. It's been a while on my Puffio Pedalum Blackjack. And I will do an update on my Cattleyas. And I think that's kind of interesting because those are the ones that I'm Quotation marks struggle the most with. Just like I, uh, it's similar like I explained in my Dendrobium Phenoliopsis update, the roots. So I'm losing too much roots uh, in winter in this setup and I'm working with it and I see progress. Um, so that's that could be quite an interesting video. A nice request. So if you have uh, something similar, um, let me know and and um I, I was sort of planning i thought uh, maybe it's a nice idea to do an update like i did on my meltonias dendrobiums now i will do my cattleyas the groups of orchids so to speak and then uh Wanda came with suggestions so uh, perfect absolutely perfect i will do that uh boba phylums i had a request if i am correctly if i remember correctly as well a few months ago i apologize i will do that as well um yeah, so maybe there are more requests. Please let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, happy to do those. And also from time to time I do get requests for reporting videos. So that's on the list. A, uh, black, uh, the Blackjack 
I, uh, like I said, I will do that in uh, next coming weeks. I'm not completely sure when. But that is to uh, to be on this channel as well. And uh, any questions you uh, know this well, leave them in the comment section below. I will come to them as quickly as possible. Or anything else you want to leave us. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm almost forgetting. Belina is back. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love the way how this blooms, hanging over the leaves. It makes the bloom pop a little bit better, I think. Looks pretty. So yeah, anyhow, this is the update for today, the blooms, buds and such. Thank you so much for watching, and of course I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye! <laughs>